What is going on everybody? My name is Northy and today we're in for a different little style of video. As you can see, I have three albums here laid out in front of me. Uh, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing my first actual update for the uh, new Footy Stars 2022 release and so I wanted to quickly show this to you guys because I think we've made a fair bit of progress for what is about a week or two into the actual release. So a lot of exciting stuff to go through. Uh, the sticker folder here of the regular cardboard, a little thinner folder, which is slowly but surely making its way up. And of course, the very special Footy Stars um, collector card album, the, the nicer one, the better one, as some would say. But I'm here to kind of go through all of this um, obviously, I didn't end up doing a Team Coach 2021 complete album, so I thought, kind of have to make up for it in some way, and I also thought the concept of the video was a decent idea. Also, got myself um, six packs of select footy stars that I ended up getting with four of my albums, because if I quickly go over here, I also have a fourth one that I do plan to use eventually. I just don't know what for just yet. I don't know what my big collection is going to be, but I definitely have a lot of cards that I want to show off here, because... I think it's a good idea to kind of show off your cards, have a bit of fun with it. So we start off with Footy Stars 2022 and uh, we open this one right up. Let me just zoom in real quick so that we can actually look at all of this. But lovely, lovely stuff here. Um, I try my best to get it uh, as nice as possible. Uh, the quality isn't terribly great on the camera so far, but nonetheless, we'll try our best. You can see I've got every single one of the um, cards so far. And if you can tell here, We've got cards like the Purple Parallels right behind the comments. So you can see Rory Sloan down there. Got lucky enough to get the header card. So I got the Purple Parallel header card right there. But I've got every single common in the collection um, working on the Purple Foils. And as you can see, there is a missing one right here. Now you may be like, who is that, Northy? I don't know who's, who you could be missing. Uh, no, I'm not missing anyone. Um, I wish I could show you properly, but you can see here, this goes to 26, and then this Adam Saad is number 27. But then we have a look at Jack Silvani. He's number 28, and then he's number 29. So realistically, Silvani should be here. Walsh should be here. Uh, Weedery should be up there. But for obvious reasons, I'm not going to do that. So I've just left a gap there. But nonetheless, this is all of the regular common cards that I have. With the purple foils all behind them as well for the ones that I can do so and chuck behind them as you can see the theme seems to be two for each page that's where we're at for the most part actually surprising how many have only two <laughs> okay this is freaky okay three here that's good there's three different cards there the north melbourne page thankfully looking all right but nonetheless three here again two you are uh, luckily i one of them is dusty so that's pretty good but you get the idea i've got my commons and my purple base all in here uh very very nice here oh four there that's very nice that's a, that's a nice surprise we've got three here nonetheless you kind of get the idea we'll just try and go to the end so i can really show off to you guys just how much uh, i've been collecting here but nonetheless that kind of gives you the idea got a couple pages here as well or just the one but nonetheless that is the first book nothing crazy special with that one but i do want to go into the second folder which is all of my sunset parallels and my 30th um, anniversary foil card. So you can see here, the ones that are facing behind are the Sunset Parallels, as we can check back here. Only one I have is Ben Keys, so uh, I guess that's good for him. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we've also got ourselves a Jared Lines right here in the 30th foil. You can see in previous, oh, further down the book, more 30 foils. But for obvious reasons, these are a lot more difficult to collect. So once uh, i start getting into seriously trying to bulk up and finish it i'll definitely do so but this is mainly just i think almost completely just um cards that i have managed to pull uh, the a few maybe from breaks maybe a couple north melbournes from breaks but nonetheless most of this stuff is stuff that i pulled from boxes myself um and then the occasional ones from those breaks that i mentioned before but you can see a lot more empty a lot more to go um i've got a couple doubles somehow don't ask me how i have doubles but we've managed to do so for some reason sydney has also been a really big uh, theme for my uh, 30th anniversary foils uh but team english i've gotten a double of him i know for sure uh, we've got karen harrington down here she is a double as well i know that and i think the other one is shane edwards shane edwards is a double as well we can see there's still a lot to go for this one, but you get the idea. I'm going to try and see how far into the 30th anniversary foil collection I can get. So pretty exciting stuff right there. Still a lot to go and is a work in progress. However, 
this one is my uh, little fun one, I guess you could say. We zip this one right up. Uh, at the moment, this is just the basic inserts. Uh, so you can see right here, these are all the Starburst paints that I've currently that I have currently um, acquired from mainly boxes as well, but uh, a lot of North ones from breaks as well. I've been entering in as many breaks as I possibly can. Um, and you can see the special thing about this one is that I've got the ice caricatures on the back um, of the paint caricatures so that I can see how many I can fully collect. So you can see there, we've got ourselves Jaden Laverde at the top there, now on the top right, another Jaden Laverde. So completing collections here and there, but nonetheless, um, you may be asking where are the shatters? Cause I do have three shatter uh, starbursts. Um, I just don't have them in here right now purely because of the fact that um, I just don't have enough to really start my collection. However, it would be nice to see whether I can get some uh, dints in that collection because I have a stream coming out very, very soon. Um, as this is uploaded, because I believe I'm going to be uploading this first thing in the morning, uh, later on in the day, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, there's going to be a stream for you guys. Uh, planning to do a full case break of um, Select Footy Stars 2022 starter packs, which is a lot of fun it sounds like a lot of fun could be very messy but from a little birdie and from the breaks i've entered starter pack breaks and starter pack boxes are pretty juiced as in like case cards and i've even managed to see people pull virtuosos in um starter packs which is crazy stuff but they seem to be really really exciting and i hope that mine end up being pretty good as well but we finally get to the end of the starburst and you start to see um, the Game Breakers stuff. Now, I have a lot of Game Breakers, um, but you can also see on the back, it's like some milestone cards. So, I'll quickly show you this side as well. Um, I've got it laid out so that you pretty much can go from bottom all the way up to the top, and they're all facing the right way. At least it'll look a lot better once it's fully completed, but I'd imagine it won't take terribly long to do so, um, especially considering this seems like a pretty easy collection to complete. There's only 90 cards. Um, so considering this is an insert, like a really common insert, um, it shouldn't take too long to get myself um, the full complete collection of the milestones and a full complete collection of the game breakers. So all that's really, really nice. And I've got a few pages up here. I may even turn these pages into the Starburst um, Shatter collection if I feel like doing so, because uh, these empty pages here, I feel like there's too many that I need to put to use. So maybe I'll just go, uh, first nine, then next nine, next nine, and then keep going across until I use as many pages as I possibly can. Because there are 90 cards, however, I've only got seven pages here, so I've got to make the most out of it. We'll see how all that goes, but yeah, that is currently where I am at. Now, I would like this video to be of higher quality in some sense. However, uh, sometimes it's just the way it goes. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot make it a super high quality video all the time because I do not have a high quality camera. But nonetheless, I have a few things that I do want to show off. Um, I've got myself uh, a bunch of box hits that I want to show off. So we take a look here. I'm just going to current kind of like let them drop. We've got a lot of midnight numbers, canvas cards, fractured cards of different variants. A load of different cards um, that you may have seen from videos, from live streams, um, just all different cards. A lot of really, really exciting stuff. So um, obviously some you may not have seen, but this is kind of an idea as to how many uh, big box hits I've got. This is probably hurting a few people seeing me drop all of these, but nonetheless, I'm trying my best, all right? I'm trying my best. Um, so you see Ben McAvoy. These are my um, three Starburst uh, Shatter cards. They're, they're right there. I'll chuck them to the side so I can show them off. But nonetheless, a lot of shine, a lot of really, really nice stuff here and there. Brownlow predictors, uh, box hits, all that kind of stuff I've got here. And we'll hopefully plan to maybe turn into some kind of book collection. I'm not too sure because these are going to be a lot harder for me to collect and properly um, bring all together. So we'll see how all that goes. But it's just all kind of together at the moment. We'll see how we'll see where to put it and whether it's worth putting it in a book or just chucking them all in. We'll see what happens. There's a lot there, so there's a good chance it will find itself in a book one day. But nonetheless, that is all for the album update. I'm sorry it's not a super in-depth kind of video. However, I think it was a lot of fun to do, and so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. Now, 
for you guys i've got six more packs that i'm going to show off to you guys hopefully you enjoy them and here are all the packs all six packs these are the ones that came straight off the albums albums here so it'll be interesting to see uh what exactly i get given here from uh the team coach albums whether we end up going any further than a box hit if we go anywhere near a box hit at all i'm not too sure uh, but nonetheless, some nice packs to go along with the albums. The cheaper albums, very technically, comparing them to the uh, things that we got last year. However, uh, I'm very excited to open up some packs. I got four albums, got six packs here. We're starting this one off with a Harris Andrews. Um, they are my first normal packs of footy stars. So, that's pretty cool. But you guys will be seeing this after my box break that I'm planning to do next. But we've got Ben Keys as well. Cody Dangerfield, Jeremy McGovern. And this looks like... Wow, okay, so an actual box hit. We managed to get ourselves an instant win card, which is kind of funny. So as you guys know, if you have seen the packs uh, more often as of recent, every box, there is a chance to get an instant win card. And getting that on an album would be pretty cool, I won't lie. That is a technical box hit, so I will for sure take that one and keep it moving. That's a massive hit for an album pack. That's kind of crazy. I'm okay with it though. That is for sure. That is mad. That is nuts. I will definitely take that. But now we go on to pack number two. Kellen Mills, Dusty Martin, Ellie Blackburn, Jake Stringer, and this looks like my first purple parallel. Oh, looking very, very nice, these purple parallels. But um, these are going to be the ones I put behind my commons in the album I just, I just made up. But you can see here, these purple foils. I haven't seen these ones before. Um, obviously, Again, as I said, you would have seen me open these up in the box break that I'm going to have before this video comes out. But nonetheless, they look super sick. Uh, but now that I know I've got all the comments, I did it in one box worth of comments that I sorted. Um, so that'll give you an idea for everyone out there who does do a box break. Every box pretty much confirms um, a full set of commons. At least that's how I always remembered it in 2021. So now that it's happened again in 2022, I can probably confirm that that's the case. But I'm going to start this one off with a Jared Lyons. Then we've got ourselves Amy McDonald, Riley O'Brien, Shay Bolton, and another purple foil. Looks like Matt Rao. That's a nice purple. That's a nice purple foil. We will take that for sure. And just the one again. Head a card in there as well. But yeah, lots of purple foil so far. Um, I guess we do get the one box hit, which I guess is the positive so far. But nonetheless, pretty much what I expected from album packs. However, I'm, I guess I'm kind of underselling the fact that we managed to get that uh, competition card. We got Jack McRae here. Rory Sloan, Lockie Neal, Tom Lynch, and a Starburst Paint, Zach Bailey. I am yet to see these ones in person, so this one looks pretty alright. It's nothing too crazy, but nonetheless, a good, good pull. What are the Starbursts? I think they're one and three again. One and four, sorry. They're one and four. The um, other ones, the purple foils, are one and every three. So, nice little pull there. Nice one. Uh, let's open our second to last pack. Got ourselves a Dom Sheet to start, Josh Kennedy, Joel Selwood, Bailey Smith, and another purple foil, Max King, all racking up towards uh, completing my bigger collection. It'll be nice to see how quickly I can try and fill up the purple foils. That'd be super cool if we can do that quite quickly, but nonetheless, really, really happy, I guess, with how they've gone so far. No duplicates, nothing like that. Uh, obviously, I'm not counting the commons, but we keep it moving nonetheless. Then we got Sam Doherty. Uh, Charlie Cameron, Andrew McGrath, Monique Conti, and an Adam Trelaw Starburst paint. Nice stuff. So that's our six packs right there. Nothing out of the water crazy, but we did manage to get a technical box hit. Definitely good out of album packs. I'm very, very happy with that. And then the rest are a mix between purple foils and Starburst paint. So what I expected here and then the big outlier, which I didn't actually think would be the one box hit we got. I'm hoping that these instant win chances do actually end up being useful. Obviously, we do not know until um, the 15th of March. So hopefully once they come, once that is announced, that has some decent prices on reward and hopefully one of my codes is a big winner. I don't know. But that is pretty much all. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all hopefully for a future pack opening video. See you all later. Goodbye.